What's up everybody? This is a first look and impressions of the new 2023 Nissan Z and I was invited out to an event in Las Vegas by Nissan but you know I got sick and I was unable to attend so I had my buddy and cinematographer Will DeRosa he went for me so we're going to talk about the car and talk about how it drives but also big thanks to Victor Kamanga from Everything Technology on YouTube who also helped out with some of the footage from his own camera that you're going to see in here as well and I wasn't paid to cover this like I said I couldn't even make it out to the event but I do own a 2009 370Z and it is the first car that I've ever owned and the only car I've owned to date so I do have an emotional connection to it and yes you know I love tech but I still love a gas powered sports car and the Z has always just hit different for me. Now they're calling this just the Z now with the new 2023 model and it's powered by a twin turbo 3.0 liter V6. It's the same engine that powers the Infiniti Q50 and Q60 Red Sport and with its 400 horsepower at 6400 RPM and 350 pound feet of torque at 1600 RPM, that is more power and oomph than you have in the 370Z. This is an all new body that pays homage to the history and design of the Z. Lustworthy modern lines with callbacks to the past and if you have a Z, this is striking and just gorgeous. Two doors, Rear wheel drive and a six cylinder engine are all staples for the Z and the models that came before it. It shares that same basic platform as my 370Z, so a 100.4 inch wheelbase, 72.6 inches wide and 51.8 inches high. The lines of the rear slope down like Z's from the past, but now you have these more muscular rear haunches where it looks like, you know, it's been working out its thighs. And then the bubble butt of the 350 and 370 is now replaced with a rear cutoff that brings back the flare of the original Z's tail with the horizontal LED tail lights from the 90s 300ZX. The new Z is 4.9 inches longer and that's all put into the front nose. It needs a little more space to fit in the new engine and the hood brings back that Z bulge which is a callback to the raised bulge and sharp creases from the original Z. You also have the rectangular design of the new grille that brings more airflow to feed the twin turbo V6 while also being a callback to the original Z as well. They even have that Z badge that's a callback to the first gen S30Z and that's this, really in the same place just a few inches beside the car's rear quarter glass. Now those are just some of the design elements that have been incorporated into the 2023 Nissan Z and it is truly a love letter to all the Z's that came before it. I mean this is really a thing of beauty but Let's find out how it actually drives, right? And since I wasn't able to go, I talked to my cinematographer, Will DeRosa, who got to test drive it for himself. How was driving the new Z? What did it feel it's, like? Yeah, it's amazing. I loved it. It made, it made my day, man. It's it's like it the, the twin turbo V6, like the oh way that it handles the low end torque, the thing just pulls. Like it pulls from the beginning. It pulls from the end. Every gear, it has power. Honestly, like we were on these desert roads, these like beautiful desert roads out in Nevada. And third gear can do anything. Third gear can you can really go, you can go like 25 miles an hour and you can do like 95 <laughs> all from third gear. Third gear is mag third gear's magic. It's 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 the gear that can like you can follow the speed limit and you can get in trouble with in the same gear. And then fourth just keeps fourth will get up there. Um, we definitely hit some triple digits. It's yeah. How hard did you push it? I, I smacked the rev limiter a few times just to see what would happen. And it, <laughs> you don't even want to say, you don't want to say how fast you drove it. Cause the, I, I, Nissan I, might be watching this. No, you yeah, it yeah. to its limit. I mean, I mean, you it, can say it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we went, we went, I, I hit, I hit one twenty once. Um, <laughs> it was, it was dude, but in it, like in like effortless, like effortless. The thing, the thing about the car is like, is it's light, it's agile, but at the same time, it's comfortable. Like we, when you drop that car into sixth gear and you're just sitting on the freeway, it's just a comfortable commuter. The second you get off into some crazy roads, you downshift and the car like just comes to life. And it's the most fun you've had in a long time. Oh and man, I, I'm jealous of you because you know, I have a 370Z. I've been looking forward to this. What about the handling? Because I love how the Z feels low and it sticks to the ground and it mm -hmm. handles really nicely. What did you feel about this one handling wise from it's what you got to try out? Yeah. I mean, honestly, for a, for a modern car, it's super intuitive. It honestly feels like my, my daily driver is a 2006 BMW 330CI with a six speed stick. So it's like, you know, the E46 chassis. Um, it's kind of like an old school modern car, that car that I have. Mm. And, and this feels very similar. It mm. doesn't feel heavier. It doesn't, it feels quicker, which I didn't, which, you know, <laughs> I got home and I, once I got home back to LA and I had to drive my car around, I was like, it's a little bit slow. I could use those two more turbos on that thing, I guess. <laughs> I don't, my wallet doesn't want two more turbos, but like my, my foot does, if you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like, um, but yeah, it's, it's, 
it's really incredible. The fit and finish is very nice. The steering wheel, I fell in love with the steering wheel. I know that sounds like the three and nine has like a perfect thickness to it. Mm -hmm. um, they talk about um, in the presentation that it's actually more similar to the GTR steering wheel with the thickness of it. Um, there's a lot of just really nice touches. All the buttons feel good. Um, yeah, I'm curious. So like, what about the interior? Because with these sports cars, like, I'm not saying did it feel luxurious, but can you talk about maybe the finishes inside a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the seats themselves, I mean, I'm six feet, like 240 plus pounds. Like I'm, I'm not a small person mm -hmm. and I was comfortable in the car, like very comfortable. I, I sat right in it. No issues, plenty of headroom. Unlike some other cars, the Supra is not super kind to people over like 5'10". Um, and the seat like grabs you, like it has like good bolstering, mm. but it's comfortable. Like some sports car seats like grab you to death. And you're like, I got to get out of this car. And this thing is not that way. You, I could sit there all day. I mean, Man. I could just, I could do 10 hour road trips, doing a hundred plus, all of, whatever I want. <laughs> oh, I know you go a hundred plus, bro. Um, were there any <laughs> things... Were there any things that surprised you maybe that you didn't expect just going to this? Because you and I were juiced about yeah. going to this event. Unfortunately, I couldn't 100%. go, but maybe what was there anything that might have st stuck out in your mind? I mean, even just the presentation about the design language and yeah. about um, the cars, like you, you walk up to the car and it's, it's like something you've seen before, but it's brand, but it's brand new. Like, like you, it feels like your best friend that you're like, Hey, but like, but it, it, like your best friend is like, went to the gym, like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's all yep. the best parts of every Z ever. I know. Yeah. Smashed into one car. Like, like every, all the details, all like the little nods stuff. to every, like if you're someone who is, whether you're a fan of the Z line or not, or owned mm -hmm. one, I don't think little nuggets of every, of yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. But there's like little, the little design details from literally mm. the very first, like from the Datsuns yeah. all the way to the 370Z. And it's like all combined together to look super modern and it still looks fresh, but it still mm -hmm. looks like a Z. And I mean, that's a designer's job, but I thought, I think the car looks incredible. It's a, it's a flawless throwback. And like in the presence it has, like you break necks, like people on the street, people in cars like 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 this the amount of snap overs you get just like and it sounds good too i mean like a lot of a lot of twin turbo cars don't sound this nice like it sounds great um they did a really good job with the exhaust note um the gearbox is really slick it felt very like i, I literally dropped into that car and it felt a lot like my 15 year old bmw and especially one of the things that's interesting is even that the pillars like the a like the a pillars are not that thick some modern cars have these a pillars that are like a foot wide and Super you're like chunky. it can just eat up a car like you're like driving and there's just a car that's invisible and this thing the visibility is incredible um the driving position is perfect like i i just i, I plopped right in adjusted the seat just like a tiny bit and you know the telescoping the, t the steering wheel telescope's really far so like I, I was like so comfy just talking about this thing with will i'm really jealous but you know the z also brings some new tech inside it has a standard 8-inch touchscreen with navigation and support for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but my buddy wasn't able to get it to sync to his phone during the actual test drive. Now, all the key information that you need is in the 12.3-inch customizable digital meter display. That's what you're looking at through the steering wheel. You can play around with what you want to see there. And then there's three analog pod gauges on the instrument panel, so this is truly a blend of digital and analog. And I wouldn't say that it's the most tech-savvy car out there, but it's been modernized from the 370Z. And let's be real, this is a sports car first before anything else. Now the 2023 Nissan Z has three versions, a base sports model with a suggested retail price of $39,990. The performance model will be $49,990. And then the proto spec model, that's limited to just 240 units with its own unique interior and exterior features. So you're getting yellow leather stitching and yellow accents for the leather seats with exclusive yellow brake calipers and then exclusive 19 inch rays, bronze wheels, and then a special shift knob. That will have a suggested retail price of $52,990 and only come in the exclusive Ikazuchi yellow that pays homage to past Z cars as well. You're gonna have the option for a six speed manual or nine speed automatic transition for all models. There is still no official release date for ordering the new Z, but it currently is targeting summer of this year also expected to appear in showrooms sometime this spring. So am I excited for this car? Well, as a current Z owner, absolutely yes. But with a major transition to electric cars, this is catering to a specific type of audience. And you know what? I am one of those people. But we're going to really have to see how consumers respond to it. Because realistically, this could likely be the last gas-powered Nissan Z that we ever see. 
Nissan has already said that they're committed to focusing on electric vehicles moving forward, but I know that if there's a car that would just feel weird as an EV, it's the Z. Now I can't wait to try it out for myself. I told you how jealous I am of Will, but there is your first look and first impressions of the new 2023 Nissan Z. I'd love to hear what you think about it. And if you like what you see in this video, hey, give me that thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell. Ding! See more video content like this alongside of all my tech and geek culture videos. But thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian Tong, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.